Spring Bay near Victoria on Vancouver Island with Ten Mile Point in the distance. I'd never dove this site before and didn't really know the lay of the land so I swam out past the um, sargasso weed then descended into this somewhat unpromising looking bottom. But eventually I encountered a nice rocky cliff which dropped down to about 20 meters and started to encounter some current related species like this stag staghorn bryozoan. Here you can see a couple of green false jingles, a giant rock scallop, blood star, which is probably a long fin sculpin, and of course a copper rockfish. Modeled stars like this large specimen you can see here will eat the jingles, which are plastered on the rocks all around it. And here are a couple of giant acorn barnacles and another long fin sculpin. This pygmy rock crab is doing what pygmy rock crabs do and hiding in a dead acorn barnacle. I suspect that white stuff in behind is some sort of tunicate. I saw a few of these clown nudibranchs. Apparently they eat uh, bryzoans. And this looks like it could be said bryozoan, although it also might be some sort of hydroid. I can't really tell. No idea what this stuff is. But here's a beautiful red gunnel. From the color, maybe a long fin gunnel. And some sort of sponge. Here you can see some small, probably juvenile rockfish, no idea of the species, and lying in the sand, what looks like a northern ronquil. I'm not sure, but this area might be open to sport fishing. I only saw a few lingcod and they were all really small. This is a slime star. This looks like somebody dropped a grapefruit in the ocean, but I expect it's some sort of sponge. and a colony of slime tube feather duster worms wedged into a crack in the rocks. A female kelp greenling. Ubiquitous painted greenling. I'm diving a 40 cube tank here and breathing down about 90% of the gas. I can usually get about 45 minutes with an average depth of about 10 meters. Uh, in this case I'd spent about 30 minutes between 10 and uh, 20 meters, so it was time to head into the shallows. Pretty sure this is a kelp greenling, but it was the most unusual color I've ever seen in a kelp greenling. And what I think are a school of uh, juvenile cod. I spent the last few minutes underwater under the shade of this feather boa kelp.